Yes. Mm. Um, anyone who has never seen um, an episode of Torchwood, um, number one, get a pack of cigarettes, maybe some, you know, aspirin, and lube. Because it's like watching a softcore porn. And maybe some champagne if you're watching it with a significant other. You know, make it kind of romantic in a mm-hmm. weird, I'm going to shoot your brains out kind of way. Yeah. Um, if you don't know how, our outlook on Torchwood, then you need to, you know, obviously catch up. But Anyway. <laughs> and you can do that by going to www.youtube slash user slash Friday catch up. Yes. Shameless plug. Anyway. The actor who plays Captain Jack in the sci-fi drama was responding to claims from irate viewers that the scene contained too much gay content. But he pointed out that a clear warning had been given at the start of the program. When you watch Torchwood, there is a warning at the very beginning that some scenes may offend or disturb people. So if you allow your children to sit and watch it with you, that's your responsibilities, not ours anymore. The actor also expressed amazement that there were complaints about the sex scene, which appeared during the current Miracle Day series, but the violence in the show did not appear to upset the audience. We kissed, we held each other, we lay on top of each other in bed, and there were lots of complaints about that. Uh, Warning, this next part might contain spoilers Mm -hmm. for anyone who hasn't seen the new Miracle Day. Nobody complained that I was shot in the head four times. They were burning people in ovens. I was stabbed by a mob of 50 people hundreds of times, and I was hanging, dripping my blood into a pit. So that's what confuses me. You're not complaining about gay sex. You're complaining about two men kissing. For people to complain, that's your prerogative. But you know what? None of them turned it off. They were just embarrassed because it put them in a position where they had to explain things to their kids or their family, which probably should have been explained a long time ago. The final episode of the current series of Torchwood will, will be screened on BBC One on Thursday night at 9 p.m. And this was from September 15th, so I'm pretty sure it's already aired. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have I have a couple of things here. Okay. One, what the freaking hell are you doing, letting your kids watch Torchwood? Yeah. Okay. Anyone under the age of like 16? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Uh-uh. Nope. No, no, no. I've only seen a couple of episodes of the first season ever. And that was enough to me for me to be like going, hmm, maybe this isn't the same as Doctor Who. Hmm. No, it's definitely not. There is a lot of sex, a lot of violence, and this is definitely not a kid show. That is actually the reason why um, they can't put the Doctor on Torchwood. They can put Captain Jack on Doctor Who, but they can't put the Doctor on Torchwood because, because... too many kids would want to watch it. Exactly, and it really is not a kids' program, and they do have warnings at the start of these types of programs. So if you're one of those people that gets all offended, don't friggin' watch. Exactly. You know? I mean, you know, the only way you could, the only way you could know, or not know, I guess would be the case that Torchwood is obviously not for kids. It's if you've been in a like a hole in the ground somewhere. And I'm guessing, my guess is probably, I know that there is one sex scene at the beginning of Torchwood, uh, Miracle Day, Torchwood, that the UK, believe it or not, threw a fit over. The UK threw a fit? Oh my goodness. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. England threw a fit? No. (laughs) But, anyway, no, um, they, it's just weird to think that the UK is throwing a fit over gay sex because they're supposed to be supposedly more open-minded and open to this sort of thing. Mm. But, yeah, they threw a huge fit. Like, they cut it short, and at first they weren't even going to premiere it at all. Wow. And I'm sitting there thinking, because going along with the sex scene between Captain Jack and a bartender, you have this guy who is black, and this woman who is Latino. I'm like, so interracial straight sex is fine? Mm -hmm. No one's going to throw a fit about that one? But, you know, two men kissing. No, No, we can't have that. No, 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 no. How dare gay people? How dare you expect us to accept this? No. But you know what makes this even more ironic is the fact that they have legalized gay marriage in the UK. That's why it's so funny that the UK would throw such a fit about it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Especially considering John Barrowman is like, 
Well, he's openly gay. Yeah. Completely openly. I mean, there was a whole documentary filmed on how gay he is. The only reason you can't possibly know how gay he is is if you are living in a hole, which also prevented you from knowing that Torchwood was not for kids. And if this is the first time you've ever watched Torchwood, there was a warning. Mm. So I could see it if you accidentally caught it, like, in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but if you're, like, flipping channels, what the hell is your kid doing up at that time of night? They usually stick things like that in a time slot that is not really kid-friendly anyway. Exactly. So send your kid to bed, change the channel, switch it off, do whatever you need to do, but don't complain about something like that. Exactly. Or if you're going to complain about that, complain about the violence as well. Or the other sex that goes on. You know, don't make it all about the fact that two men were kissing, and you really don't see much. Well, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, imagining, because I haven't seen it yet. So I'm sitting there, and I'm going... I bet Jackie's sitting there going, that's it? That's all you're going to show? I did. <laughs> <laughs> what a letdown. <laughs> I really did. That's, that's what's so funny. Okay, got ripped I, I, off. <laughs> I, I, I had been, um, I, at that point, I had been catching up on Torchwood. And so as I was catching up on the old ones, the new ones were coming up. Well, then I hear in episode three of Miracle Day, which is se- uh, season four, Excuse me. Um, they were throwing this huge, massive hissy fit over a sex scene. So I'm thinking there's like hardcore rapage, you know. Something you get to actually see things to throw this much of a fit about it. So I go and find it. I watched, and I'm sitting there going, "Whoa, who, who, whoa, that's it, really." Ah. Oh ripped off <laughs> there was no there were no penises nothing was there but yes there was one but it wasn't Captain Jack however oh. in the uh, in the one that they were just talking about um, t- uh, I think it's it's either 8 or 9 I can't remember episode 8 or 9 you get to see Captain Jack's button I'm like <laughs> 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 you know, it's times like these where I'm really glad that John Barrowman does not listen. <laughs> well, you never know. He might be, and he might go back to the YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha. That would be my luck, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, but, oh well. Hey, I want to go off tangent for a sec, but it's sort of the same line. Okay. Along the same lines of everyone getting all their knickers in a twist about gay stuff, you know. Um, recently, Darren Hayes, who used to be the frontman for Savage Garden, released his latest single, Bloodstained Heart, uh, or released the clip for it. Now, anybody who's anybody, unless they're in the hole with the Torchwood people, um, knows that he's gay. He's married, he lives in the UK, he's happy. But what had me scratching my head was in the video clip of this song, he's chasing around a woman with goo-goo eyes. I'm thinking, okay, this is just a little bit strange. This is not him. He wrote this song, and this song is most likely about a man. So why on earth is he chasing a woman? Uh, I guess because, really, I mean, anything gay is not going to... I mean, people are starting to get okay with it, which, you know, we'll read more about that later on. Mm. But, as far as a general whole, there are still so many people that are against it, and it's sinful and all this. So I guess the only way you can really make money is by following and sort of doing as you're told. Exactly. I mean, you know, all for him for being gay, and, you know, all for when I saw the the article that I just finished reading, I had to read it because it was just like, you know, someone finally got up and said it. Yeah, stop being You're, tight asses. There is nothing wrong, there's nothing sinful about be- being gay. You know, they're allowed to be just as miserable as every other married person. Exactly. <laughs> but I, I to which I... John will probably go, shut up. <laughs> 
But, you know, I don't know, it just had me scratching my head because a lot of people on the thread where he announced that you could go and see it or, you know, everything like that, when it was put on morning TV on in Australia, everyone's like, but why are you chasing a woman? That doesn't make sense to us, you know? Shouldn't you be embracing your gayness? You know, surely we are evolving as a human race and this shouldn't bother us anymore. You know, I, I, I was just... Yeah. Okay. Tangent finished. <laughs> Yay! Not really. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think we should probably just get over ourselves, really. I think so. Uh, by the way, for those of you that weren't paying attention, this show is basically um, an all-in support for gay marriage or gay anything for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. Damn so, straight. if that offends you, please feel free to turn us off. Yes. And, you know what, if you don't like us, feel free to do the same. So, only people exactly. who like us are welcome. Hello, people that we like love us. We love you. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> My mommy doesn't listen. Well, you know, you could always corner her later and play the YouTube clip better. Watch this, Mom! <laughs> I put a lot of effort into this, damn it. <laughs> Speaking of which, for those of you that don't go and watch the YouTube clips, do you realize how badly that hurts? Yes, you should go and watch them. Jackie puts a lot of work into them. <laughs> Just Not saying. to toot my own horn or anything, but <laughs> I mean, you know, it takes me like an hour to do the intro. Yes. Then it takes like an hour to do the outro. Yes. Then there's an hour per video, so we're talking six videos. That's six hours. So mm -hmm. we're already up to eight. Mm -hmm. If I was being paid, I'd get minimum wage, and this would be my work day. Yeah. <sighs> I'm cheap. But I do it for you. free because I love it. Oh, we love you too. Yay. Yeah.